Hey makers, this is Ruvain and in this episode, I am going to talk about one of the newly interesting Power Automate feature for the approval action. Now, in approval action, Power Automate come up with sequential approval in out of the box way itself. This makes our life much more simpler and easier than earlier. So without further delay, let's get started and explore this functionality with me. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far, do follow me. So here I am on my machine and here I have created one manual trigger flow on my screen. Now let's try to add one approval action over here. So I am adding one approval action and let me just add an action start and wait for an approval. This option that I am talking about it is available for any kind of approval. Now let's expand the approval type option and over here this new option is available now which is sequential approval. Now. What is sequential approval for any project? Let me give you an idea around that. Sometimes in the organization, we are working with a project where sequential level of approval is required. Let's say for an example, first, first level manager is approving it. Then if he approves, then only it goes to the second level. And then only it should go to the third level. Let's say in this sequential hierarchy, if anyone is rejecting, then it should stop that chain at that point itself. So how to implement that overall thing? Let's get started and talk about that. So over here, I'm selecting sequential approval option. Now, as soon as you select it, you will be able to see here, you can introduce the approval step inside the Power Automate flow action itself. Now, First, like other action, you need to provide title and then you can define the steps. So let me provide the title over here. So I'm providing the title as teach sequential approval demo. And now let's define the approval step. In this process, I'm defining three steps over here. So when you click on add an item, you need to provide the assign to option for first level over here. So let's say here I'm providing my email address over here. So, first time it will go to the Dhruvin for an approval. If Dhruvin is approving, then only it should go to the next level. And to add a next level, click on add new item over here. I'm clicking that and here I need to do assign to. And this time I'm providing the another user account which is contact. Let me add one more level over here in the sequential approval. So, I'm adding one more third level. And this time I'm adding Shridat's user over here. So in this approval overall step, first time it will go to the Dhruvin, second time it will go to contact and third time it will go to Shridat. Now let's save it and test this functionality. Let me click on test button. Let me test it manually. Click on run flow and click on done. I have opened Dhruvin's mailbox over here. And I have opened Dhruvin's mailbox over here and over here I have opened contact mailbox as well because we want to track this complete approval process. Once Dhruvin approves, only at that time it should go to contact. That's something I want to verify. That's why I open both the mailbox side by side. And here I am. As a Dhruvin's user, I received this particular email where I can approve or reject the approval. And over here still, you can see that in contact email address, I do not see any more new email coming up. Let me approve as Dhruvin. So in the email itself, I'm adding a comment and let me click on submit button. And as soon as I approve as Dhruvin, Contact person will receive an email until and unless they will not receive any kind of email. So let's wait for that. 
So let's wait for that. And here I am as in and here I am as a contact person as well. I get an email notification. Let me click on that. And as soon as I approve here, it will go for the further approval with Shri Dash. So I am adding a comment over here that approve as contact. And let me click on submit. As soon as you approve it, it will go to the Shri Raj for the next approval. So let me open up Shri Raj's mailbox. So far, he didn't receive any kind of email over here. And here I am. Shri Raj also received the email notification over here. Let him approve over here. And click on submit. As soon as he did that, as soon as he did that, you can see that flow is also coming out of the loop. And over here, you will be able to see the full response as well. So let me click on show row output. And you can see all the responses are captured perfectly over here. So first it is done by Thruvin, then contact and then Shri Raj. It also capture all the comments over here as well. So this is how you can simply make your life easier by just using this out-of-the-box sequential approval. Now, let me talk about couple of limitations of this sequential approval. By this way of sequential approval, you always have approve and reject option only. Let's say if you want to use any kind of custom options like approve, reject, send back to user or another now let me talk about couple of limitations about this particular option as well. Like other approval type, you always have a flexibility to provide the custom options for yourself like Now let me talk about couple of limitations about this particular option. Number one is it always have two possibility either approve or reject. Sometimes in the email notification, you need three or four buttons like approve, reject, send back to the user or cancel the request. At that time, you don't have the flexibility to add the custom responses over there. Second thing is that conditional sequential approval is not happening over here, which means that let's say sometimes you have a scenario that approver one is approving. After that, it should go to approver two only if your budget is greater than 50,000. At that time, there is no such way at this moment over here to write out your own conditions. Hopefully, in the future, we will be having some of the options over here. But at least for straightforward sequential approval, this action absolutely 100% useful. Now, tell me in the comment section, what do you think about this new approval action as a sequential approval? So that's it for today that I wanted to cover up for today's class. Hope this video helps you and values your time. If so, hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel. 
If you are looking for any paid consultation or training, the website link is available in the description box. And don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram.